All right, we'll figure out this problem. So it's a secant of the inverse sine of two root five over five. So um, inverse sines can be bounded between negative pi over two and pi over two. And two root five over five is gonna be in quadrant one. So that means that um, it's gonna be two root five and then I'm just drawing a random triangle, it's not to scale. So this down here is gonna be equal to square root of five squared, which is 25, the hypotenuse minus two root five, which is four times five, because it ends up being um, four times five, which is 20. So we get the square root of five, so this is square root of five. Okay, so then we need the secant, secant's one over the cosine. So this could be one over, um, square root of five over five, which gives us uh, five divided by the square root of five, and it just becomes, and then five, same thing as just root five times root five over root five, one of these cancels out, and we're just left with root five. And that's it, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.